Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about how to get your Shopify store to at least a thousand dollars. Let's go. Alright, so before I jump in, three quick things. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because why not? It's free and if you hit the notification bell, you can be notified as soon as I drop the, the latest video, which is every single day. So if you like that, go ahead and hit the like button. That's all three. Let's go ahead and jump in. So. What is the fastest way for you to actually get to $1,000? Well, um, basically there's three things. You obviously need traffic, you need a product, you need a website. Those are the three things that you need. However, a lot of people talk about them in the wrong order. So I'm gonna talk about them in what I believe is the right order and the order that if you use is the fastest way to get to $1,000 because when I personally implemented them, um, it took me about a week and a half to get the current store that I'm using, uh, this was back in September, uh, get the current store to uh, over $1,000. Now I can easily do that within like a few days, be able to get it over $1,000, but these are the exact tactics that I use. So number one, is contrary to popular belief is that you need traffic. If you don't have traffic, if you don't know who your traffic is, then you may as well quit because you can have a product, you can have a website, you can have all that stuff, but if no one's actually buying, then it's all kind of just pointless. So um, you can get your traffic from a, a bunch of different sources, you know, Facebook, there's Instagram, there's uh, you know Google, Bing, all these different places. But in my opinion, and the fastest and easiest way to get to $1,000 is to actually use Instagram influencers which if you don't know already, uh, let me see if I can spell this right. If you don't know already, basically there are large pages on Instagram and I would uh, generally recommend using not like personal or celebrity pages, but more like uh, fan pages or feature pages, stuff like that. But they're essentially just large pages on Instagram that uh, you can reach out to, contact and see if you can post an ad on their page for a certain amount of money, which is usually quite a bit cheaper than any other advertising method out there. So the reason that you're going to go with Instagram influencers and actually figure out your traffic and contact these people beforehand is because they're going to tell you your niche, they're going to tell you uh, who your market is, they're going to tell you who your product is, or what your product is I should say, and also lastly and most importantly how to market it. Okay, Let me go over these, these four things and kind of tell you how, how it works. So. Instagram influencers, once you find them, you're gonna figure out what your niche is. How do you do that? Basically, you reach out to pages that have a large following um, in a certain niche. How do you know that the you know where to even start? Basically, what's popular on Instagram? Uh, these are things like fitness, things like dogs, cats, uh, you know, uh, veganism, like all these different things um, that are very popular on Instagram that people post about on a daily basis for a reason because there's money to be made. Those are the niches that you want to get into if you want to get to a thousand dollars very quickly. Um, you could you reach out to smaller niches? Sure, you know there's not as much competition. Yeah, but there's also not as much money to be made, and you're going to have a tougher time getting to the thousand dollar mark. So uh, figure out what's popular on Instagram. From there, that's going to actually tell you who your market it is, who your market is, aka who you're selling to. That's extremely valuable information because if you don't know who you're marketing to, then uh, you know it's extremely difficult to make a sale because you can't relate to them, which is what business is all about. You have to be able to relate to the customer and be able to provide a need for them. But if you don't know what that need is because you don't know who the market is, then it just makes it very difficult to make sales. Um, last, uh, you know, the thirdly, it's going to actually tell you who what your product is. How so? Basically, um, when you start finding your niche basically find a bunch of influencers within that niche. So like say it's you know cats or whatever, just as a general example, you're gonna look at all these different cat pages and you're gonna start to see a certain product that's coming up over and over again um, on all these pages. And that, if you start seeing a product like three, five, six, seven times, that's gonna tell you that that product is actually probably making money and it's probably successful because people aren't gonna be posting about it if it's not successful and it's, it's not making money because they're not just gonna waste money, right? So from there, you'll actually be able to know what the product that you're, you should sell is because dropshipping is not about reinventing the wheel, guys. You don't need to go out and figure out the next greatest, latest, whatever thing, okay? It's about finding trends, about finding what's working and jumping on that trend before it's too late and then jumping off and finding another trend before you know, it's too late. That's pretty much the entire model for dropshipping. So figure out what's working and basically like copy it and make it better, make it your own. So. Lastly, it's going to tell you how to market because what you'll be able to do is actually look at, you know, not only the products that are being sold, but actually the ads that are being, uh, you know, sold to these pages. 
look at the captions, look at the photos that are being used, see how the engagement is, see how people are responding to it. And that'll tell you exactly how you should market your product as well, uh, you know, to kind of get the best results. So that's exactly why I pick the Instagram influencers first. It's incredibly valuable to do that uh, before you do anything else. Okay. Secondly, um, the rest of the work is actually mostly done, but uh, the second thing you need is a product, which we already found here by using the Instagram influencer technique. So from there, all you have to do is find the product uh, on AliExpress, which is a site that I use. If you don't know what it is, basically it's like um, basically like Amazon for Chinese manufacturers. You can buy things very cheap and then resell them on your site. So find the product on AliExpress and import onto your website okay guys literally that's all the the product research you have to do um so how do you actually find the product a lot of times all you have to do is like say it's like a, a dog necklace or something literally just talk type in like dog necklace on aliexpress and sort by orders and you'll find it near the top of the list if not the top of the list um you know same thing for anything or what you can do is actually go onto the competitor's website um and just right click on it you're gonna have to do this on the desktop but if you right click on it um, a lot of times it'll show like uh, search Google by image or something like that and you can search Google for it and it'll actually come up with some AliExpress listings and you know you can go from there but uh, literally guys that's all I do for product research okay and number three is you're gonna have to have a vehicle in order to actually sell this so this is gonna be your website so notice that I don't talk about your website at all until you have your traffic and you have your product. Because if you have a website, especially if you're starting with a free trial, which if you don't already have the free trial, I actually have a link to it in the description below that you can check out. Um, if you use that link, it actually helps me out a little bit. I get a small commission, um, but it doesn't affect you at all. It's still you know a free trial for you. It just helps me out a little bit. So if you want, again, the, uh, the free trial is in the description below. You can check it out. But um, basically, I don't talk about the website because if especially if you're on a shoestring budget and you don't have a lot to start out with, why would you wanna waste days of your free trial just like doing stuff that doesn't work? Because that's not getting you to your goal of $1,000, which is you know ultimately what we're trying to do. So your website starts a free trial and uh, base your designs off the competition, okay? What do I mean by this? Basically, now that you know your traffic, you know your product, you know how to market it, all you have to do is figure out how the competition's websites are looking, what they're looking like, um, and you can literally just base your website off of that. Don't just straight up copy it, but base the ideas and marketing and you know product descriptions, all that kind of stuff off of the, the website that you see. And you can do that, again, by just looking at the, the influencers and seeing what's working, okay? So base your design off the competition. In my opinion, you shouldn't spend um, more than three to five days on your website design, okay? Because think about this, if you have a 14 day free trial and you're spending you know, a week and a half trying to design your website, you're down to like three, four days that you can use to market before you're gonna have to start paying that $29 a month. So ideally, if you can spend like three to five or even less, like now I can start cranking out websites within like a day and a half, two days, um, and then get it profitable like the next day, making at least $100 a day. But um, yeah, so I would, I would not recommend spending more than like three to five days. And again, if you're basing your design off the competition, you should already have most of your ideas set. So you're not being like super creative. You're just like sort of copying and making it a little bit better, more unique, more yours. So that's essentially the idea with the website. And then lastly is to import uh, five to 10 uh, similar products to the website, okay? And we're gonna do this the same way through AliExpress, um, which if you don't know how to do, I'm, I, I'm pretty, yeah, I do have other videos that have to do with uh, you know how to import them. So you, know, you can check that out. But uh, yeah, import five to 10 similar products and we're basically gonna just use these as upsells so that you can sell more. Because um, the day uh, when I did a thousand dollars within like when I when I made my first thousand essentially on the website is uh, the first few days I was making like fifty bucks, seventy five bucks or whatever. But then the day that I really started to when it started to click, I actually made like six hundred and twenty five or something something similar to that, something like ridiculous, right? Never been able to do that in my life. So the reason I was able to do that though is through product upsells. Um, I made one sale that was over, I think it was actually $325, it was insane. I haven't been able to replicate that since. It's very rare, so it's not like something that happens a lot, but 
you know, it was all due to being able to sell similar products, okay? Don't just import random products, but, you know, similar products that people would actually be interested in. Um, so this is essentially the blueprint that I used in order to get to the $1,000. Now, if you want to scale past that, you can do things like uh, email marketing, uh, yeah, things like product bundles, uh, upsells, uh, Facebook retargeting, all kinds of different things that you can do um, that you can look into actually and, and some of these things I actually have videos on on my channel that you can check out but these are all things that basically increase your average order value so you're going to be able to make more money per sale so you know obviously that helps you make more money uh, you know depending on how many visitors you're sending and then also you know you can just scale by uh, by running more influencer ads so instead of one a day now you're running like three a day or five a day you know there's days I think the most I've run in a day is like seven so you know, that's a lot of ads to run. That's a lot of money to, to spend on ads, but you're making back the ROI, so it's, it doesn't matter that you're spending $150, $200 on ads a day. Um, so basically, guys, this is the blueprint that I would use if you want to get to $1,000 as quick as possible. Figure out your traffic, figure out your market and product from that traffic, and then just build off of it. And don't try and reinvent the wheel. Just figure out what's working and then grind it, grind it, grind it until you get to $1,000, which if you follow this blueprint and you actually put in the work, I think you could easily, easily get to $1,000 within like two, three weeks. No problem, starting from scratch. So if this was helpful for you guys at all, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit the notification bell as well so you can be notified as soon as the, the next video drops, which is every single day. So why would you not want to be notified? Lastly, leave me a like and a comment as well. Let me know what's standing in the way of you getting to this $1,000 mark. Um, because <clears throat> I honestly think, like I said, you could get to it within like two to three weeks if you really put in the work and follow what I'm talking about here as, as well as other videos that are on my channel. So if there's something staying in the way, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you want to, if you have something more, uh, you know, more specific that you want to ask me uh, through my DMs, go ahead and hit me up on Instagram at Nash Hagen. And uh, you know, I usually like to respond within a few hours. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys again, and I will see you guys tomorrow.